Well, good afternoon, everybody, and happy Monday. They had a lot of clouds earlier today. Those have kind of dissipated now, but you're still seeing a strong southeasterly flow coming into the area. Under fair skies, you've got uh, 72 degrees right now in Rockport, where you've got a south-southeast wind at 11 miles an hour. Downtown Corpus Christi, 75, but look at that wind, south-southeast at 26 miles an hour. That's a lot of moisture coming in, and it's also 75 out on the west side, that strong southeasterly wind. And you do see a few little showers in the offshore waters moving their way up towards the upper Texas coast. We're going to see more of that during the overnight hours, and we're going to see mostly cloudy skies as that moisture continues to come in from the Gulf of Mexico. There is cooler air on the way, though, but only slightly cooler. You can see the 50s over the high plains, but most of the states and ranging from the lower 60s and quickly into the 70s and even some 80s in South Texas. What we're seeing around here, 70s to near 80 degrees there at Hebronville. And here's that cool front coming on down, that slightly colder air moving on down. We're going to see that uh, become stationary over us. And uh, if it makes it in here, it'll be inconsequential as far as any cooling is concerned. But you can see uh, it will bring with it a lot of rain. Now, we're not talking about heavy rain, but we're talking about a lot of rain shower activity, specifically beginning on your Tuesday and continuing off and on through Wednesday and early Thursday. Meantime, tonight, we're going to be mostly cloudy and windy out there. That was winds gusting well over 20 miles an hour, holding minimum temperatures into the middle 60s. Tomorrow, rushing back into the middle to upper 70s. By the way, water temperature, a chilly 57 degrees out there. Now, you do see wind briefly turn to the northwest. Uh, you don't see it in here, but Tuesday night into early Wednesday, then southeasterly again, and then briefly again northwest Friday. But for the most part, <clears throat> it's going to be a warm week coming up. One disturbance moves across, gives us a chance of rain Tuesday, Wednesday, ending Thursday. And then another system, the first of next week, that big one you see out there to the west, well, that gives us another opportunity for rain the first of next week. And we're not talking about a lot of rain, but we are talking about a half to three quarters of an inch. There may be a bit more from time to time, but we'll have to keep an eye on that one. In the meantime, the wind will continue tonight. We have small craft advisories in our coastal waters during the overnight and early morning hours. That's likely to be extended tomorrow. Meantime, tonight, we're looking at mostly cloudy, mid-60s for a low temperature with a south-southeast wind at 16 to 28 miles an hour. As you move on through the next seven days, isolated showers uh, beginning tomorrow. The windiness continues Tuesday and Wednesday. The showers become more numerous as you move on into Wednesday, Wednesday night, then taper off Thursday. Friday looking pretty good. Then scattered showers begin to return late Saturday and continue Sunday and Monday. Highs continue in the 70s. Lows, well, in the 60s. Very spring-like numbers. Drew?